Tonight for the show to the Mr. Rockstar show. I am Mr. Rockstar, and with that name, I'm world famous Rockstar. That you probably never heard of. Uh, hardly got here tonight for the show. The drivers in this town are just terrible, aren't they? I was uh, behind somebody that was just weaving, changing lanes without signaling, and I finally had a chance to pull up beside the car and and I rolled down my window and I, I yelled, you drive like a clown! And uh, when I got a closer look, it actually was a person dressed up like a clown. Oh. Guess he was on his way to a party, a birthday party or something. Well anyways, uh, welcome to the Mr. Rockstar Show and...
Cletus? Help Bill and Luke. Bill, uh, might that be the Luke today? <laughs> Bill and Luke, Bill and Joe Luke. My brother. <laughs> you got a brother? He's bipolar. What about your I, brother? I didn't know what bipolar meant. Wait, well, where would you, you get those poles? He, he, he got a house on the North Pole and one on the South Pole. His brother got a house on the North Pole and the South Pole. Oh. He went on the South Pole. He get he bipolar. He bipolar. Well, uh, here, Billy, here, Billy, here, Billy, here, Billy, little boy. Won't you sing a hillbilly song that she loves me too? I like the way she rocks. For here's a lot. For all the way down to a sugar mine. And if she should touch my I love doing the Mr. Rockstar show, but let me tell you a time, my, one of my first jobs I've ever had, fast food. I'm sure a lot of you at home had uh, probably fast food jobs. Let me know if this has ever happened to you. Uh, it was my first day there, and a gentleman came in, and he looked like he was in a hurry, and he asked, you know, I took his order, and I said, okay, your order number one. It'd be just a few minutes, sir. And he goes, oh, thank you very much, but I got to use the restroom. Wow, uh, which way is it at? And I said, oh, well, it's, it's over there. And he went to the restroom, and I took some other orders, and a few minutes went by, and my boss came out, and the the order was in a bag right there, and she said, uh, whose order is this? And I I said, well, it's a gentleman's. He went to the restroom, uh, you know, five minutes ago or so, and it's order number one. And she goes, well, we'll serve no food cold. Get in there. Take, here, take, take his lunch. Get in that restroom and give it to him. And I thought it was very peculiar. I said, all right. You know, it's my first day. I just take orders. I'm okay. I went into the restroom. I was kind of whistling. And uh, I said, I, I didn't see anybody near the, you know, the wash basin. So, uh, you know, I kind of looked underneath the stalls, and I saw some shoes there. And I said, uh, number one, number one. And a voice from within the stall called out, no, number two, number two. My love, we're not just next to you. You said to me, you are the pretty.